Well, Tuesday is our day for technology and gadgets. So Declan has evicted me from today yeah. and taken control Rightly back so. of his shed. So over to the shed to ask this question today. Could you run your, chat, uh, your car on chip fat where you can't just pour the stuff into the tank, you've got to modify the fuel. In a moment, we're going to show you uh, this device here. It's called a Golden Ray, and it is uh, something that uh, is uh, supplied by Timothy Smith's company. And Tim, we'll get you to talk about this in just a moment. But uh, you can also uh, find uh, sort of a factory on wheels. If this is too much bother for you, then you can find a factory on wheels that will bring the modified fuel to your doorstep. Simon has been to see it in action. All right, so if you don't want that great big lorry trundling up your driveway, this is something that you could have in your garage yourself. It's one of these smaller biodiesel processors. Um, Tim Smith, your company makes this. Tell me what it does. Um, simply the machine will convert any old vegetable oil into biodiesel. A simple test to the oil to let you know how much chemicals to use and the vessel reacts. The oil converts into so what biodiesel. Do you, do? you just pour it in the top? The old oil goes oh, in the top of the machine. Like right, so it goes in there. Yeah, that smells like a cheap, like a sort of chip pad fryer. That's it, that's yeah, it. yeah, the that's similar smell. smell it. Right, OK, so you pour it in there. It does its stuff all the way through yeah. here. And then... At the end of the process... This pump at the end, which looks diesel. remarkably like uh, the pump that you see at a filling that's station. That's right, yeah. Uh, then you just pump away like this. Yeah. And the stuff goes in to the vehicle. Now, this then, once you've processed the uh, fuel, you then yeah. just put it straight in the engine? Yeah, straight in your engine, no conversion needed to you your car. You don't have to so modify the no. car or the car's engine? No, no modification But that's another all. way that you could do it. If you didn't even want any of this, you could just you modify could the engine. You could convert your car to run on straight vegetable oil if you wished. If you d yeah. did it directly. Is that a complicated thing to do? It is, is it uh, converting legal? the car. Is, converting it, is, the it, is car. it legal to do it? It is legal, but you'd have to pay the duty on the vegetable oil, whereas with this converted fuel, there's no duty to pay for the first two and a half thousand litres that you manufacture yourself. And when you're talking about paying the duty on it, that's something you'd have to declare yourself. So yes. you're then into yeah. the whole realm of form filling. Now, we've got some drums here on the floor of the different types of uh, uh, fuel that go into yeah. it. This is what? This is brand new vegetable oil, not as cost effective as using the waste oil that's in the second drum. Right. And by waste oil, you mean Stuff. literally if I fry chips on a Friday night, I can pour Yeah, it the in leftover there. oil from that or from a takeaway restaurant fish and chip shop and whichever of those two you use you this will, is that's what this you'll is the create at the end this of the process yeah, that's it, yes. where the money okay. savings um, made how much does this cost um just under a thousand pounds so how long would it take you to make the the value back up again? four months and the machine will have paid for itself just making 50 litres of fuel a week and are they selling they're selling very well, yes. All right, OK. Uh, Timothy Smythe, good to talk to you. Thanks Thank very you. much for uh, coming in to uh, show us this. Now, if you fancy doing it yourself, then uh, this is what it's likely to cost and how much it could save you. Making biodiesel from cooking oil will cost you 21p a litre compared to over a pound at the pumps for normal diesel. So if you produce 50 litres, this will save you around 55 pounds. You're allowed to make up to 2,500 litres of the stuff without having to pay any duty or VAT. Some companies will charge you for waste oil, but do ask at local cafes and restaurants or chip shops if you've managed to do it more simply than this, then do let us know. Raga. Thanks very much, Declan. Well, here at Working Lunch, we love hearing from you and getting your emails. John Flynn's emailed in.